So imagine you have mud. And then you have high heel shoes. What will happen? Is it obvious to you that the shoe will sink? This is actually not because of shearing, but this is because of crushing. Think of like walking on foam, you know, or on one of these soft powdery materials. You walk on it, it will crush the powder. So, failure by crushing at contact surfaces is called bearing failure okay and occurs at contact so in this case if i look at this thing from the side what is happening is here is the hanger sometimes it's also referred to a strap here is the hole of this thing of the hanger here is the bolt can you see that i'm going to draw that in a different color so that you can see the bolt there's the bolt right and what is happening is because of the force down here i'll draw that in a different color because i'm applying forces down here p this top part of the hanger is going to crush the bolt like that. Is that obvious to you? It is going to crush the bolt. You know, if you hang on it, it is going to crush it. And the area over which this acts is the this area of the bolt. Right? So, if I, if I were to draw a free body diagram of this, it will look like that like that and this is getting crushed up because there is a load p on top this is the load analysis for the bolt this is obviously compressive stress and is usually referred to as pressure Okay, or bearing stress. So, it gets crushed, you know, bad, bad things happen. Imagine that this is made of foam or something like that. What do you think will happen? If I hang it, can you see that the foam will get crushed? There is nothing much to it. Okay. So, what will happen is, because of that, we have to worry about crushing strength of things. So, bearing stress is calculated in the following way. load divided by projected area what do i mean by projected area if i look at this from above can you see that this whole strap business looks like this right here is the bolt and then here is the strap again a hanger portion again the bolt head is out here And here is where the washer comes and all the nut and all that comes here. This is head of bolt. This distance is 13 mm. And the area that we are interested in is this area. That area. That's called projected area.
which is diameter of bolt times length. So in our case, this will be diameter of the bolt is 25 mm times length of the bolt is 13 mm. Okay, that's the projected area. So sigma bearing for this will be load divided by projected area 25 times 13. For this particular bolt, it is given to us that the allowable um, the allowable bearing stress typically it will be much higher than the tensile strength. You know, typically you cannot crush a bolt very easily, but nevertheless, our bearing stress must be less than or equal to 140 180 megapascals. That's what is given. So when you do that, you can get that means P must be less than or equal to 25 times 13 times 180, which is turns out to be, please note the unit changes when we do this kind of stuff, which turns out to be 0.5. Uh, sorry, this one is not, I, I apologize, this calculation is not right. So let me fix this. This is not 58, this is only 44. This is 58. So now let us compare all the results. Hanger failure. At 54 kilonewtons roughly. Uh, side failure. at 48 kilonewton bolt shear failure at 44 kilonewtons bolt crushing at 58 kilonewtons this is usually called bearing failure So what's the, which one is going to happen first? Is it obvious to you? It's this. So the maximum allowable load will be 44 kilonewtons. That's how it works. Okay. Thank you. Bye.